What's up, family? Whew. We've been through it. We've been through it with this pandemic. I pray you are well. I pray you are hydrated. I pray you are resting. I know that myself, I have needed to pull back and um, prioritize my health. And so let's get into this two week reading. Your messages for last week, kind of like reflecting back um, as to why last week went the way it did. In addition to that, shit. Damn, my cards. My cards. Um, in addition to that, we're gonna get into this week's readings. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it, do it, do it. Let's go. So last week um, was the start of Leo season. We have the Seven of Cups. So I do a three card reading for last week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I'll do this week's reading, all right? So it'll be like July 19th through July 26th. Then we're going to do the 27th through August 2nd. Cool? Cool. So the Seven of Cups. Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Seven of Swords. Maferefunye Maya. Maferefunye Maya. Last week, Monday, Tuesday. Listen, I know I have clients who are like, you're out here doing our weekly readings and I want my reading. I want you to know that I am prioritizing all of my clients. I have, I have to do them in order. And so I ask you to please be patient. Be patient. Um, I have the baby. I have other um, obligations and commitments, and so I'm finding that I'm needing to do the readings very late in the evening, like after 11 p.m., 12, after midnight. I'm someone who generally goes to bed at nine, and so I am absolutely paying catch up, and just so trust. I ask you to be patient. I ask you, I don't wanna rush. I don't wanna rush. I don't wanna, I know that many people right now are going through it. They're going through it. I'm getting texts from people, emails from people asking me when I'm opening up my schedule. Breathe. We are going to consult spirit and you will have the answers right on time. I believe in that. I believe in that. This is not a money thing. I don't, I don't do this for money. This is not, this is really, this is spirit work. And so we cannot rush spirit work. And I am a human, I am one person with five other jobs, you know? And so I ask you to just trust, trust that you will have your messages right on time. Um, seven of Cups. What was going on last week? Maferefunya Maya. Seven of Cups, your cup floweth over. You have a lot of choices. You're, you're a dreamer. You're picky. You have a lot of choices and a hard time making choices. This is for last Monday, last Tuesday, last week, when you had needed to make a decision last week and you couldn't make one and you're someone who relies on other people to help you um, make the decisions that you need to sit with and allow spirit to help give you the answers to. There are a 
lot of choices open to you right now. The universe is sending you a lot of things right now and you're just not quite sure. You doubt whether or not, you don't wanna make the wrong choice, right? But you're not moving, you're paralyzed. You need to make a realistic decision. The, what aligns with your life purpose? What aligns with your future? What aligns with what you say you want to be attracting who you say you are, right? You need to take action. So last Monday and Tuesday, your messages are that you need to take action, that things are not gonna just fall into your lap. You need to make a choice and be okay with that decision. Surrender, let it go, and trust that the decision you made is the right one. Period. These dreams, like manifesting these dreams, it sounds so hokey. Like manifestation, magic and manifestation. Magic and manifestation, it's not some powder that you blow in. Oh, it turns into this thing. You have to put in your the work. You got to get up every single day with the determination and the drive and the hunger to attack and go after the thing that you say that you want. It's time to see a financial advisor. Let's look at our money. Let's look at our money. It's Leo season. There's a lot of money coming for a lot of people right now. And I'm not talking about that little $1,200 check that they want to send you. That's nothing. That's peanuts. That's a joke. There are some, some of you are going to be getting a lot of money right now in a pandemic. You are making the most money you've ever made. You're surprised. Your online business is successful. Let's be smart with our money. Let's get a line of credit. Let's go ahead and apply for those loans. Let's invest. Spiritually, um, you're dabbling in a lot of practices and that's wonderful. But be consistent. Be consistent, you know what that means. Be consistent. Don't leave shit halfway. If you are in a photo, a 40 day satna, do the 40 days. Don't do the 40 days. When I speak to you, I'm speaking to me because I have done that. Taking the, the free classes, the trainings, the certifications, changing my diet. That shit does not work. Stick to one thing. Wednesday, Thursday, three of swords. Some of you are going through it. Your heart is breaking. You are crying. You, we're still sort of in the residue of cancer season, so we are incredibly emotional. I have been crying more these past, past week than I care to admit, but I admit it because I want you to know that you're not alone, that you're not crazy, that you're feeling things deeply, and you cry so that you don't attack and put your hands on someone, which I think is beautiful. I think it's amazing that we can cry to express the rage and anger that we might be walking with right now because shit is tough. This is not an easy time. So be gentle, be kind, cry. You're feeling lonely. Some of you are very lonely. Some of you are going through a horrible separation right now. Some of you are grieving. You are in deep sorrow. There's a lot of loss. Um, just last week, I have students who lost parents, who. Like I, we are grieving collectively and individually. Some of you are very sick. I was sick last week. Um, trauma, a lot of the old traumas, a lot of new trauma. There are a lot of women who are, are suffering right now. A lot of women, suffering at the hands of men right now. A lot of domestic violence is at an all time high right now. Let's send love and light and prayers and strength to women all over the world. Um, to every, everyone, but to women in particular right now, um, there's a lot of tears, a lot of misunderstandings. So yeah, let, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of betrayal, people cheating, people stepping out. I just got a text yesterday. This makes sense. Things are coming to a head. Last week, you found some things. You read some emails. Do not sweep it under the rug. 
choose you. I'm sorry. You have choices to make. Choose you. The week started that way. Choose you. Oh, I felt that in my spirit. Oof. There's a lot of heartbreak right now. A lot of sorrow, a lot of conflict, a lot of nasty arguments. Oh, praying for, praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. I'm, oh, I don't have enough time right now in this reading. I will come back. I will do, I'm going to do a live. I'm going to do a live about this card in particular on my way to um, to the airport today. Yeah, I'll come back to that because that's heavy. The Three of Swords right now is very heavy. I'm feeling it. Seven of Swords. That's it. It's a wrap. Deceit, trickery, cheating, theft, scheming. Enemies masquerading as friends. Oof. Mental manipulation. I'm going to do this reading and I'm going to do this message in the car. That's how the week closed last week. Last week was a horrible week for some people. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you light. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to do a live in the car just kind of right after this in the next like 20 minutes. So if you feel this and you want to tune in, it'll be on my page anyway. But um, I feel like I need to have a conversation about that. A lot of the suffering that people are going through, um, we'll we'll talk about that. <sighs> yeah, it's, it, there's a decision to make because um, you need to get away. You need to get out of that. You need to get out of that. Here we are with a reading. Um, the card for this week, Monday, Tuesday, we open with the Two of Pentacles. What to, what's looking? What's coming up for us this week? Two of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Balance. That's it. We're slowing down. Last week was a very shitty week. This week we have to get it together. We got to get therapy. We got to get our finance. Our finances on order. Maybe you need to go to the bank and move some money around I'm, I'm straight up about it if it's maybe you need to hide some money maybe you need to take some take the money that you work so hard for and put it somewhere else we're not gonna be left out here during a pandemic broke sorry not sorry let's let's get let's get with it let's be smart you're juggling money you have a lot to bat Ooh, there's a lot of profits and losses profits and losses um, income, money coming in, money going out. That's, that is life. Um, the two of pentacles duality is about partnerships. This is about, this is about your partnership. Going through hard times, adapting. I'm not saying leave your relationships, everyone. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you are in a toxic relationship and you have been in this toxic relationship for longer than you care to admit to yourself, you know what you need to do. No one, no one deserves to be in an abusive situation. No one, no one. And abuse can manifest and disguise itself in a lot of ways. Us masquerading as people that we are not. Us hiding parts of ourselves more for the car ride. We're gonna talk about all of that. For Wednesday and Thursday, Ibeji is the magician. What do we have to look forward to? Power, influence, skill, ability, logic, intellect. I just said, let's be smart. Concentration, tapping into our intuition, our psychic ability. We possess incredible power and there are people and powers who have tried to suppress it because they are threatened by the strength that we move and walk with. Not today. My um, not today. I'm sorry. You are. You have an incredible ability. You are incredibly skilled. Everything that you need, you have. And you just need to learn. You're a magician. You're a magician. You're the alchemist. The motherfucking alchemist out here in these streets. 
And so we are transforming our relationships. We get to transform um, our circumstances. You know, we feel like, I don't know what to do. I have no control. We always have choices. This weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, temporary financial hardship. Emphasis on the word, it's temporary. So a lot of people are living off of those that, that little $600 unemployment check that's ending this Friday or ending this week or ended, period. And you're freaking out. You feel like you're left out in the cold. Some people are going to be filing for bankruptcy during this time. Some people are going to be filing for divorce during this time. There are going to be a lot of breakups during this time. Um, yeah, some disgraceful activity is happening to, during this time. against you this is temporary this is temporary it's gonna be a hard week fam we're struggling a lot of people are struggling we're not sure we're thinking that people are putting brujeria on us and and we just have this shitty luck and and, and nothing's coming our way and we're not getting the grants and we're not getting and our businesses have to close people are struggling You're going through a tough time right now, even spiritually, like in every area, emotionally, sexually, um, financially, um, psychologically, mentally, every, everything, like we are breaking down. And we have to allow ourselves to feel all of this so that we can come back strong because we open with balance. And so what helps you when you are in, when you're going through a hard time? What practices can you connect to? talk more about that hate to be the bearer of very difficult news but there's nothing we can't get through our ancestors have been through worse and they got us so we are not alone we feel lonely but we are not alone when you are when you are loving, when you are loving, Mare, la bendición de mis guías y protectores, la bendición, Mare, 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 la bendición, for all of us, for all of us, keep our ways clear. Ma perefu no batala, ma perefu madre oya yansa. Aquí está tu hija. Pidiendo te la bendición. Ma perefu no shu, ma perefu ni oya, ma perefu chango, ma perefu no sum, ma perefu no rula, ma perefu no lokum, ma perefu baba ogun. Aquí está tu hija oguni. We pidiendo te la bendición for me and for all of us who are going through it. May we know that we are guided and we are protected. May we find some strength may we connect to energy may we take care of ourselves may we surround ourselves by loving people and loving experiences what i wish for me i wish for you family that is your reading for last week and this week let me know in the comments how this resonates what you're going through what you need advice on like let's talk you are not alone amen namaste and so it is peace